is Sadie and today I'm going to be showing you guys some healthy habits that you guys can do for back to school or just I know because it's really hard to keep track of your well-being and stuff when you're really busy. So here are just a couple of reminders of things you can do frequently or every single day to make you have a happier and healthier lifestyle. Also, I have a shirt for sale currently, it is like upside down and inside out, but this is the shirt that I have on sale and it is called Sadie in my pocket. And inside the pocket it has a lightning bolt, a camera, a heart, and a sun. This is the ice blue color and it also comes in different colors and a crew neck sweatshirt, which I just ordered. This shirt is only available for like 10 more days, so make sure to go to the link in the description and purchase it. And I'm so excited I want to 22 you guys so if you guys buy it please post pictures of you wearing it and then tag me so that I can see it and I can repost it on my story and let's just get right on into the video so the first healthy habit that I have is to eat whole food and basically the trick is to not really eat anything in a package or a food that has a million ingredients in it so I definitely like to eat a lot of fruits vegetables that are organic grass-fed meat and the cleaner you eat the more energized and healthier you will feel so right here I have some grape tomatoes, some hummus, and some carrots. The food that you eat does not have to be sucky just because it's not processed. I love to cook and bake some really nice, like yummy things. I will leave some of my favorite recipes down below, like pizza, treats, pasta, like desserts, and all that good stuff. If you guys feel like cooking something, you will know exactly what is inside of that food and it'll be a lot healthier for you. The next habit would be to keep your phone away from, you know, your vital organs and your brain. I am definitely guilty of this, you know, I love my phone, I'm on my phone a lot, which is probably not good, but it's the truth. And sometimes when I'm done with my phone, I put it in the waistband of my pants or in my pocket, but you should not do that. And when you're on the phone, try to put it on speakerphone so that those radiation waves aren't going into your brain. Also, when you are sleeping, make sure to put it on airplane mode. The next healthy habit that I cannot stress enough because I have actually seen a difference in my health when I have been drinking a lot of water and it helps with so many things like your digestion, absorption of nutrients, gives you energy, it stimulates your brain. So if you're doing homework and you're drinking water, it will help you with that. And you can also add some fruits and veggies to make it taste good and you can also have tea. My next healthy habit is to take mental and stretch breaks. So I know that a lot of us can be doing homework for a long time, especially on our laptops. You may be hunched over or staying in the same position for a long time and being like that can make me literally go crazy. <laughs> so I recommend just taking a moment to clear your thoughts and also just taking a nice short or long stretch break. You can stretch your neck, shoulders, ankles, back, forearms, hands, and basically anything that will just relieve you of all those like cramps that get in your muscles when you stay in the same position for a long time. It's always good to be a bit flexible so that you will prevent injuries in the future and it will also relieve you of a lot of stress. So taking mental and stretch breaks while you're working is definitely so healthy for you. And if you think you need a deeper stretch or a more focused stretch, I actually have this muscle roller thing and I got it on Amazon. If I am working out or if my muscles are just really sore that day, I will definitely roll out my back because I have tight muscles in my back and my legs just to relieve the stress or the cramps that are inside my muscles. The next habit that I have is being grateful. I suggest having a notebook right beside your bed and put in there a list of everything that you're grateful for. Right when you wake up, read over or add to those things and it is proven to kickstart your day on the right foot and it will give you a positive mindset in the morning which will set the tone for the whole day. Being grateful will never send you to a negative place. The next tip I have is to always moisturize and I definitely recommend using coconut oil. In a lot of my skincare routines and makeup routines, I stress using coconut oil on my face because it makes it so glowy and just moisturized and hydrated and I love that. But moisturizing reduces a chance of skin problems, reduces blemishes, and it prevents you from drying cracked hands in the winter. After a shower, just put some coconut oil on your legs and you can use the extra on your hands and your elbows and it's also a temporary barrier for your skin. The next habit that I have is to take vitamin D and I actually take three of these pills in the winter. <laughs> Here's me. 
presenting it to you, I don't know why I'm like this. But I basically take three of these in the morning and especially in the winter when the sun isn't shining a lot and you're not outside a lot because you're at school, it is definitely so good for all of your bodily functions like your brain, your muscles, and basically everything else. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure that if you want to go buy my shirt either in the crew neck or the t-shirt or both of the styles that would make me that would make me really happy that was the video and i hope you enjoyed it i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye